One in three people are at risk of kidney disease, according to research. And this morning, registered nurse Kimberly Hendricks is here to help raise awareness as this is National Kidney Month. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. And I looked up a lot of research about this, and it says that kidney disease is a silent killer. Can you just explain that? It is. Um, unfortunately, the kidneys, um, or I should say fortunately, they do a great job keeping up until they don't, mm. which means you can have very advanced kidney disease and have have no signs or symptoms. Um, once that kidney disease is very advanced is when a person starts to display, sy display symptoms such as fatigue, swelling, shortness of breath, loss of appetite, um, and by then it's really too late to do anything for the kidneys. And at what stage would it be at once they, dis once they dis uh, experience those symptoms? About what stage would that be? So there are five stages of kidney disease. We consider it chronic kidney disease one through four. Um, once a person is at stage five, that's when we consider it end stage renal disease, and we really have to start considering put a patient on dialysis or transplant. Um, but some patients will start showing symptoms in stage four. Mm. Is kidney disease curable? And if not, what does treatment look like? It is unfortunately not curable. Mm -hmm. um, kidney disease, if you did everything right, you're never going to get those kidneys back to the state they were originally in. Okay. So the treatment is either transplant, which is rather difficult to get. The average patient waits five years on the transplant list. Yeah. Or dialysis which dialysis, we have several options for patients. Um, there's a lot of negative connotations around it, but you can actually live a very high quality life if done correctly and you continue to take care of the rest of your body. Yeah, because according to the National Kidney Foundation of Louisiana, 1,800 people are currently on the waiting list here in the state for a kidney transplant. So yes. that's a lot of people. It's so a what, tremendous amount. So what can people do uh, to possibly prevent you know, getting kidney disease? Early detection. Early detection. So the leading causes of kidney disease are going to be diabetes, high blood pressure, family predisposition, obesity, and unfortunately being in a minority group. Um, so those patients are at a higher risk, so early detection before you have symptoms gives us an opportunity to intervene. Um, and most of the interventions are going to be things that are controllable by the patient. Mm -hmm. um, lifestyle changes and a lot to do with diet. Oh wow, that plays a part into a lot of things, you know, when it comes to, I guess, exercising and things like that. Absolutely. So are you talking to me this morning, Kimberly? I'm talking to everybody in Baton uh, Rouge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we and the South, unfortunately, and, and, we're at the top of the list for kidney disease. That's not yeah. a race we want to win. We don't want to be number one in that. You're exactly right. And yeah. I do know, I also want to mention that on April 2nd in Baton Rouge, there is going to be a kidney walk at the Holland Park there on April 2nd, but we'll, of course, be sure to post all this information on our website, brpride.com. But I thank you so much for joining us this morning and helping raise awareness on this National Kidney Month. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's a pleasure. Thank you.